Hi. This is Denise. Oh, oh Whoppy John. Welcome to my home. Gosh, I thought I'd be talking with you a lot earlier today. This has been a really interesting day. He's risen. Today is Sunday. Sunday came. He is risen. I'm totally, totally unprepared for this. I read every account of his crucifixion and resurrection. I've been praying. And just know that whatever comes out of my mouth is what God's put there because I have no clue. None. And that's kind of the way it is every Sunday. But I at least kind of have a feeling going in, you know, and I have nothing. That's not a bad thing. It is finished. The one thing I knew that I was going to talk to you about was when I got saved, I was totally illiterate where the Bible was concerned. I didn't know. I just knew that there was a God and I needed him. And when I sat with the pastor's wife and we prayed a pretty typical sinner's prayer. And one of the greatest gifts that God has given me when um, we were through with that prayer is I heard in my spirit, it is finished. I had no idea what that meant. I didn't know that he had said that on the cross. I didn't know. And over the years, I've been saved since from 1988. I've always known about God. But that's when I was saved. It is finished. I've been so moved as I've gotten older. I think it's always moved me, but each time I recount what our Lord did for us, the sacrifice he made for us, the sacrifice that God made for us and giving us his son, it becomes more poignant every year There's no time of the year that's more important to me than this time. This promise of knowing that it is finished. He did it. He did it all. And you know, it's... That's what he said before he committed his spirit to God. That was the last thing he said, was that it's finished. I was reading about the centurion, the guard that, that knew it was Jesus, and the robber that knew it was Jesus. And Peter, who knew it was Jesus, he walked with him and talked with him and, and loved him. And he denied him. I don't ever want that to be a reality for me. I don't ever want to deny him. 
but whatever I do, I know that he's there and it is finished. He has taken my shame, my sins, and he's opened the door for me to be able to go back home. Because, you know, we came from there. We don't have a memory of being there, but I know that we were. And that's just kind of, I don't know that I've even read that, but it's just kind of a knowledge that I have. And I think that's why when I look into a, a newborn, the eyes of a newborn, it's just so amazing because that newborn, what he saw before he looked at me was God. He came. from his earthly home, his spirit. God created him like he created, you know, and I'm saying him, I'm not talking about Jesus right now, although that's true, but that newborn that I'm talking about, it's just pretty amazing. What does it mean that it's finished? Is it, I kind of think in pictures, I don't know if everybody does. I hear that they don't, but I think in pictures. Um, they call bread finished when it's risen, you know. It's risen. You finish the bread. Oh, that's interesting. Risen. I was thinking rising. And that's the same word, isn't it? Um, everything that Jesus did that led up to the cross was his finishing. And he knew that part of what he would do would cause his father to look away from him. And I don't know, I'm sure that, I'm not sure. What I sense in my spirit is that that was the greatest point of grieving for him of what was going to happen is that his father would turn his face from him and he knew that because he would be bearing the sins of the world. And he did it anyway. He didn't have to. He did it because God asked him to. That was what it was all about. He loves us so much that God would stand by and allow us to kill his son. I was talking to another um, Facebook friend or YouTube friend last night, and she was watching The Passion of the Christ. I saw that movie once and the passion and it was so tremendous. I haven't been able to watch it again. I have it in my drawer. I bought it. It's in a cellophane wrapper and I thought, oh, this will be a great witnessing tool and blah, blah, blah. Well, it is. But it's also, it puts me on the floor. I believe that God has spoken to a lot of people through that movie. 
um, you know, he can look at us and I can only speak for myself really because he and I both know who I am. Nobody else really does. That's just kind of the way it is in our journey on this earth is we kind of hope that people know us and then we kind of hope that they don't because if they knew who I was, you know, <laughs> and we're all sinners and we all live a secret life. As I've gotten older, I try really hard to not. That's not to say I don't sin, I do. I know he's finished it. I know that he's done what he's needed to do for me to go home. I can't even imagine That song comes to mind, I can only imagine. I know you've all heard it. Um, in the song, he's talking about what it's going to be to meet Jesus. Will he be able to talk or will he be able to say anything at all? Will he just be on the floor? I get that. We are a blessed group. God has brought us together on this platform called YouTube. And it's a gift for all of us. It's absolutely amazing. Timu is a vehicle. You know, it's not what this is about. You know that. He uses whatever he uses to bring us together. And my prayer for all of us is that we see how individually loved that we are. It's not just a group. When you think of people that I, I get to talk to who are in different countries. How would that have happened otherwise? It's only God. I'm absolutely awestruck by his power and his majesty and his graciousness and his goodness and his mercy and his everlasting love. For me, I don't find myself too loving, you know, too lovable sometimes. Probably a lot of the time. I see my shortcomings. I see things about myself that, you know, I'm still a work in progress. We all are. But he sees the finished parts. It is finished. There you go. He's finished us. We just haven't been there yet. We haven't seen it. He's finished us. Thank you, God. So all the rough edges, all the inconsistencies, all of the downfalls, all of the junk that we walk through as human beings because of Jesus. Because of Jesus, we're finished. He sees this as a fine jewel and all of our rough edges are, are like the facets of a diamond. 
and only through him. And to his delight, he's saying that he reveals all those facets. And that's for his good pleasure when we get there. We won't see all of that while we're here. But what we do see is faith in the knowledge of what he's done. The faith that we have and the unseen. Certainly not in the unfelt. But... I'm so grateful. And today, I guess historians have come to the point where they say that, you know, these days kind of fall on days and times that really were. Um, if you count back from when Jesus, you know, that, that he was crucified around this time of the year. And that he was born very close to when we celebrate. And that makes sense that he would do that. It's not us that sets the days. He's not bound by that kind of stuff. He created time and climbs into it with us. So it is finished. It's about him, but it's more about us, isn't it? The faith and the knowledge that he has finished us. It's a done deal. We just don't see it yet. And when we walk through that door, we're going to. Wow. We are so blessed. All of those rough edges that We all hide, don't we? We all hide those little spots in our lives that we don't want each other to know because they're really kind of ugly. He knows and he shines a light there. And that's his finishing work. So whoever's sitting here with me now, each one of you is a beautiful creation, is lovely and delightful to our Lord. And because of Jesus, we are finished. We're a finished masterpiece. I've been putting together beads. I don't know why I'm supposed to talk about this, but he's led me back to this a couple of times now. And I have these all these containers of beads. And he gives me patterns, things to do. Taking those beads and making beautiful things out of them. And this is the one that I made the other day, the earrings and the bracelets. And when I look at these, I think, oh my goodness. You know, he delights in this sort of thing. He gives us our creativity. 
and that's part of him. But when I look at these beads, I think about how he takes us and he molds us and he makes us so much more beautiful than we could ever, ever imagine. So when you look in the mirror, he wants you to see him shining in your eyes. He wants you to see him causing your heart to beat. He wants you to see him loving you. And know that you're finished. You are finished. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for this time. Thank you for this day and the commemoration that we have of your sacrifice for us. We have it every day. It's just a little more poignant today. Poignant Friday. And today, as you, as you rose, you know, you rose, you conquered, you became. For us to see, you are already our God. You are already all of that. You know what we've needed to see. And you know who we are. And you've given us such gifts. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for the words that you've given me. It is finished. In your name, Jesus. Something that I was noticing while I was reading, it's almost like I have dyslexia. I don't. I mean, I haven't. I think there's something wrong with my glasses, but it's like I see one thing out of this eye and one thing out of this eye, and when they come together, they, the words are all jumbled. It's really weird. Please pray for me. Um, I'm going to call the doctor tomorrow. I take Amanda to the doctor tomorrow. So her appointment is at 930. That's my daughter who has something going on in her little body. Please pray for her. Pray for her to know that it's finished and that she's okay. I love each one of you so much. I feel so blessed to have the opportunity to have you in my life. As you go forth, stand taller. Stand fuller. Allow his joy in your heart. Allow his peace in your home. And know that no matter what it looks like, it's finished. We're but a blink of an eye away from being home. None of us know when that will happen. I love you. Have a blessed rest of your day. And remember, he's risen and we are finished. Until next time. <laughs>